What up y'all, back with another video. Today's topic is uh, depression is behind you and anxiety is your future, uh, looking at your future too far out. And um, these are good things to discuss to keep you level. You know, in this world we live in today, especially if you're an empath and you've dealt with a lot of narcissists in your life, you probably have dealt with anxiety and or depression, not knowing, you know, exactly where the root of it is. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and say that this is where all of it stems from because it isn't, uh, but this will get you on <clears throat> the right path to solving the issue because you know a lot of times these uh these systems that we uh have for these issues sometimes aren't so much uh helpful uh in every way because they're kind of like part of the you know uh military industrial complex so to speak but um so, and we all know, you know, if you can go as much naturopathic as you can with things, it's the best way for your body and your mind and your heart, soul and everything. Um, but anyway, uh, like it says in the word of God, it says, you know, to uh, live day by day. And that's a, a scripture. And uh, I, I've dealt with both anxiety and depression in the past from a lot of... Um, destructive uh toxic people in my life in the past before i was able to uh understand fully what you know what has what was going on in my life when i was growing up as a child and everything um so this may be helpful for you um because i went through uh several years of that and it was difficult um but uh you know when you are with the narcissist okay um a lot of times they have you you know, ruminating all the time because they're crazy. And um, they're always, uh, you know, we all know they're master manipulators. Um, I always say they're, they think they're A-class actors, but they're, they're crappy B and C-class actors. The problem is, is that we get our, you know, emotions involved with them. We get our finances involved with them. When you get your emotions involved with them, you get your mind and will also. And that's where you have trouble. That's why you want to react, uh, respond and not react, observe and not absorb, you know. But anyway, um, on the depression side, um, when you start ruminating on the narcissist, that's where they, they talk about, you know, the narcissist becomes your God. And they, 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 they you know, people say that because, like, literally, you don't believe that the narcissist is your God. But when you're ruminating on someone all the time, because you're trying to understand them, figure them out, trying to, um, you know, satisfy them, help them, you know, I mean, they're a black hole always sucking uh, every uh, com commodity or uh, a gift that you have all the time, you know, and and we all know this. People people in that have dealt with these individuals know this and. Uh, Anybody outside of that shouldn't be watching this, you know, it's just is what it is, right? It's for this is these channels are for certain groups of people, man, and that's it. So um you know, and so that's where they talk about, you know, the narcissist becomes your god because when you're thinking about somebody all the time, you may un you know, you're not consciously, you know, uh trying to make them your god, but when you're giving them all of your everything, including your time, your, you know, I mean, you know, what do you have, do you have left to, to think of the Almighty and your relationship with the Almighty, right? Um, very little, almost none. And a lot of people talk about this and I completely agree because I've experienced it myself. When you're, when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, you, uh, your blessings are cut off you start when, especially when you start seeing uh, who this individual is and you continue to stay with them, your blessings are cut off and you start to see that. 
before you might have been blinded to it. It may have been happening, but not to the level of when you start to realize who you're dealing with, who they truly are. Whether you've unmasked them or not, you know their qualities and you know their construction. You know you know who they are. They're, 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 they're corrupted individuals and they're working for the enemy. And when you know that and you continue to be connected to them in love and marriage and all that, you start reaping that karma, man, and your blessings, like, you'll start watching that happen on the daily. And um, and that's when I was saying, like, at some part, a point in time when you awake to, you know, who you're truly dealing with, man, you've got to get out. You can't do anything else. When you're a chosen one and you awake to this, you can't stay with them because you start catching their karma is branching off and it's getting you. That's why they like a lot of supply. And, 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 and uh, people in their life and, and flying monkeys, they connect to everybody and anybody. And that's because when, when their karma comes at them, they're connected to a web of people and the whole web of people is start, starts to collect some of their karma and it shields them. That's why you got to completely disconnect when you want to, uh, when you want to get, if you want to get revenge on a narcissist, man, you got to completely, uh, you have to completely forgive them, learn to and the only the best way and the only way to forgive a person an individual in a situation is to forgive and forget and maybe you know if it, forgive and forget n not what they did but just the you have to heal how about that just whatever it takes to heal i like to call it forgive and forget but i understand whatever they did we're not trying to go down that road again so you don't want to forget like in that factor but um And they have to become, you know, they can, and they ha they have to be looked at as a, as a, a, a as an enemy for you to be vigilant. They're the enemy. You give them no information, you gray rock them. But anyway, so depression. When you're ruminating on the narcissist, when you're like uh, dwell, you're dwelling in the past. I mean, uh, you know, also, and you're always uh, when when whenever uh, you get discarded or you discard them because you've had too much and you can't handle any more brutal freaking injustice in your life from them and you discard them either way they force a discard they force you to discard them you know you um you end up like ruminating and and, and being in a depressed state because you're starting to what could i have done did i do the right thing yeah you did the right thing you should have did it sooner and i get it man i've been there that's why i'm preaching this the narcissist is an is an evil doer, man, and 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 I don't know what the hell they did to become who they are, but the fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're not going to be able to help them, and 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 I don't know anybody that can. So, people even talk. Should you pray for the narcissist? Yes, you should pray for the narcissist. A lot of people are like, you shouldn't pray for the narcissist, or maybe you shouldn't. Maybe they're just a demon. It, the Lord says to pray for your enemies. God, God made everybody, even your enemies, and you have to pray for them too. In fact, when you pray for your enemies, um, you know um, when you, you wish even good things upon your enemies. That's 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 what you want to do because when you, I mean, you don't, but you you don't want to be with them, you know. <laughs> but yeah. You, you wish them well and you wish them off and you wipe the dust off and then it's up to the Lord. God knows what's happening. God knows what's going on. God created you in the whole episode. Okay? What we have is options. That's the only thing, you know, nobody makes you sin, but the enemy gives you options and you choose. Sometimes options, man, are, 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 are shit tea, you know? I mean, you know, sometimes you wish there was just, you know, uh, three buttons on the computer, not, 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 not 50, you know what I'm saying? More options, uh, you know, um, not good sometimes, but, uh, you know, and, and then, and then when you, when you do leave the narcissist, you start having anxiety. Like, can I handle this? Can I handle next month? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do next week? You can do it, man. It ain't shit. 
you'd be fine. But you know, the, prob ooh, the problem is, I almost saw a wreck. The problem is, is, uh, you know, you need to take every day uh, as it is. And you know, uh, you know, the, you know, and, and live it moment to moment. And that's, that's why it says that, because it says that, because if you live moment to moment, man, you can always do the next moment, you know? Nobody can defeat you in doing the next moment. Okay, and, and, and that's one reason. Another reason is, is when you start ruminating and thinking uh, what you could have, should have did, uh, you know, um, that, see, the past is, is, is only really to be used for as a reference point to grow. Like, yo, I made mistakes in the past. Uh, you know how I need to look back at that as a map of either either what worked for me or what didn't work for me. And so that's, that's what the narcissist can never do. We always talk about that. That's why they're always on the same track. They're in a cyclic track because they can never look back and reflect. And they can't, what do they call it? Interstand? They refuse to. They can't. They completely blocked it off. That's why they can't learn anything. Yes, they can learn textbook knowledge and get a degree. Yes, they can further their career. But when it comes to anything with any kind of empathy, man, they cannot do it. Any kind of uh, um, serious reflection on sin in their life, they can't do it. <clears throat> any downfall in their life, they can't do it. And that's what an narcissist in injury is, is when they start to uh, see those things because they, they're they they're at such a, a, a defunct state and they have nobody to run to and nobody to distract them that they do start to see it. And that's why they end up in a hospital trying to commit suicide. So, I mean, I don't know why we ever think that the narcissist is, is enjoying themselves. They're not. In fact, out of all their impersonating and all their lying and all that crap they do, the best thing they can do is probably that. That's the best face they can put on is, is oh, everything's okay, everything's pretty good. It's because of that, that freaking Leviathan pride in them, that's why. But let them go, man. Shake the dust off. Like the Lord, he says, you know, things like that, those type of people, it's gonna be worse for them man than, than, than whatever the hell they did to you you just keep it moving man you know um, be about your business man you know and that's the reason you know and, and, and you know a lot of times when uh, people you know and, and you look at some empaths that, that haven't been successful in life it's because we, we, we get our heart and our mind will and emotions involved with too many toxic people and I get it because we you know a lot of us grew up in a certain sort of way. And so, you know, we also weren't, you know, um, engineered by our family to uh, uh, help us in, 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 in our life, right? You know, what, what to look forward to and get us prepared. And it is what it is, who cares? You know, we're here now today, you know? But the thing is, is, uh, but when you awake to this, get all those toxic people out of your life, man, and you'll be a true success. But you know, when you look at a lot of empaths, they're not gonna be successful because they're not awoke. And and for an empath to be successful, they have to awake first. And that's why they're called they, they call we're called chosen because chosen is to be not only awoke, but to be vigilant. And when you awake and you've been through a lot of harm and you realize who they are and what you're dealing with, uh it, it forms a lot of inquiry making more change to correct the, the things in your life uh, where you've messed up with people you know and because um, you know how important it is because you experienced it to a whole nother level and and now that you're awoke to it you know what's inside these people they're not like us at all and so uh the other thing is, is when you start ruminating, think about the past or too far in the future, you're also in that trance from the narcissist. You know, when they talk about that, uh, you know, they, they put they, they put spells on you, man. And, and they can't put, that's the thing, they can't put a spell on everybody. 
they can only put spells on people who grew up in these in these types of family dynamics because you were grew up you were grown up under the spell. So it's not like you're weak or, or anything. You were you were just set up for complete failure. You were groomed this way. And when they talk about you being groomed this way, this is what they're talking about. Not everybody is, that's why, that's why the narcissist is, nev is never going to find anybody else like you. Because a lot of people don't get cast under their spells. So they just get with people at freaking bars and shit who don't give a damn about them. Nobody looks at the narcissist in a, in a wonderful way like you did. Nobody saw the jewel in the narcissist that you did. They just see them as, they're just going to have one nighter with them. You know, or they're just going to use them as much as they're using, you know, uh, the other individual, you know. But we actually, we actually, God sent us to them and, and that's it. And they repelled it. And because they repelled it, um, there's a lot of atrocity for that with their soul. We were, we were there, we were their saving grace. Huh. Um, we were there to test them, to help them, and to lead them out, to, to give them guidance, you know, with the Lord's help. And, 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 and because they're so blinded by their pride and, and their seduction and all of the things that they want to maneuver, even though, and they know they, they feel that love, you know, they do feel that love. Even if they can't feel love, they feel our love to some degree. They, they, even if they can just, you know, um, fathom it in some other way, they know that they were truly loved by us and nobody else. And that's why they want to keep that connection, man. And, 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 and that's why they want to dig in with, with all their claws and all their fangs because, and, and attach all of these, um, you know, um, strings and hooks to us. They don't want you away. You know, at the end of the day, they, they may play it off like they don't care, man. But especially in a woke empath, man, come on. We shield them up so much. And when you walk away from them, watch them slowly degrade. Peace out. That's all. Love y'all. So, Joe. We out.